Oh, here we go. Orwell Bomb Shelter? Hmm. Is this a sponsor stream? No, it's not. No, I, I, I would never take a sponsor stream for 76. No. Co ignoring Julia? No, I'm not. What are you talking about? Oh, hey, Co. Sure, Julia, as many as you want to make is great. H absolutely. I, I, every, every single one you want to make. Hell yeah. So this is a bomb shelter? Whoa. Hey, you're here. Seemed like this was the place. I had to sneak past everything outside, and then I heard some noises deeper in here, so I just hold up to wait for you. I hope that's okay. Keep your head on straight, follow my lead, watch my back, and we'll both get through this just fine. Don't worry, I will. I'm as ready as I'll ever be. Let's do this. You didn't bring any armor or... Okay, I was going to say, like, I hope you at least brought a gun. Why are there so many people in here? Oh, wow, yeah, we got 15,000 people in here. Damn. Hi, everybody. Where's this go? Oh. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh, this is trouble. Did you just say not like this and die? Oh my god. I think he did. He died, didn't he? Oh no, there he is! He lives! Glad Pala gave us all that ammo, huh? Oh my lord, these guys are little loot boxes. Okay, oh, oh. And how do these people get in here? We got more. How do we have more? Alarm clock. Get out of here. Take the drugs. Drugs! Oh, God. Ugh. Ooh. Oh god. Oh god. Oh jeez, you are big enough. Right in the dingle. Sure hope so. Okay, uh what is my rat away button here? Whew. 
Lucky hits. Okay, I'll take it. Ian Orwell's terminal. Okay, this is 11 15 2077. Cheryl only knew how far into debt I had gone building this place. She would have killed me. Looks like it paid off in the long run. She knew the bank denied her last loan, but didn't know exactly why. I'd like to see the bank try to get their money back now. There was no saving the orchard anyway. We hadn't been profitable in years, and that was before the moths. That's not the worst of it. Right before the bombs dropped, we found out we won the goddamn lottery. The rep was supposed to show up next month, but I guess that's not happening now. Too bad we could use the cash as extra toilet paper. Merry Christmas. It's been a little over a month since we took shelter. We're doing all right. Supplies are good and all the equipment is running smoothly. Cheryl has pretty much gotten over me not telling her about this place. I surprised her this morning with a crib I got before everything went to hell. She was pretty excited. I still don't know how she didn't manage to find it. She always talked about how much she wanted a kid, but the orchard was always a priority. But we have plenty of time now. I think it'll be nice to have some new life down here. Three months later. It's been about five months total. Still no luck on the baby front. Not for lack of trying. I'm starting to think the radiation from above is beginning to leak down here. We'll still get on supplies for at least another year. It's been hard trying to stay on top of all the repairs. The pool, plump, pool pump broke last week. The fusion generator a few days ago before that. A few days before that. One of the pro uh, projectors is shot and I think the heater is beginning to go. As long as we stay on top of repairs, we should be fine. Uh-oh. Like six months later. It's September now, I think. We lost track of what day it was a few months ago. That The leaves in the orchard are probably starting to turn. That was always my favorite time of year. Damn near everything has stopped working. We're down to just essentials. Air, water, and food. We've got plenty of books to read, though, and my putting game has never been better. I've been feeling too well these last couple months. My hair has been falling out, and I'm having trouble keeping on any weight. Cheryl says we need to find help, because this place is making me sick. We'll be fine. I'm not ready to leave yet. Still feeling like crap. Mind is fogged. Hard to focus, hard to type, but we're safe down here. I made sure of that. Cheryl doesn't understand the sacrifice, the debt, months of preparation, all for her. Her and that baby will never have. She wants to leave. She can't leave. I won't let her. Mm. Well, that didn't end well, did it? Whoa. Ugh. What security door did we open? Man, look at this place. It had like a bar and a pool and everything. And this place must have been banging for a while. microphone and a freaking little stage set up there. I'm not sure what security door we opened. We didn't do any lock picking, did we? Is it this? Crap. All I wanted was to get him some help, and he trapped me in here like some sort of animal. I was able to repair the button that opens the door while he was asleep. He's, he has the only key out of this godforsaken place. Tomorrow when I hear the shower, I'll take my chances. If anyone's reading this, please know I had no other choice. Ian, I'm sorry. I know this isn't you anymore. Please know that I still love you, Cheryl. Oh, no. So wait, that's why in the shower... There was the corpse and the blood oh she killed him in the shower damn damn <clears throat> oh and here's the crib Clean kill, clean kill. Yeah. Why are the frames choppy? Are they? Frames are great on my side. Seem fine for you guys? Okay. Cool. 
I was going to say, hopefully it should be super smooth. I got a whole computer process in that stream for you guys. <laughs> and a nice fiber internet carrying it all to you. And a little kitty overseeing the whole process. We got a lot on lockdown right now. We do. Speak with Colin Putnam. Colin's a dad, right? Oh no. He's in here. Oh god. Oh. oh wow. That was a lot. How was your first combat experience? I'm still shaking. I'm really a little worried you're so casual about it. I guess I can handle it, but if I have the choice, I'll stick to books and machines, thanks. I'm kind of sad. I bet the other guy would be like, that was awesome! Still want to join the Brotherhood? Definitely. I might not be the most brave in a fight, but you must need people to keep everything running. Yep. If the occasional True. moment of terror is the price for getting to work with their tech, I can live with it. Everything all right? Yeah. Yeah, actually, thanks. That was terrifying. Uh, oh, really, I Silent? I lose it, though, and I'm alive, so I guess that's a good sign. Thanks, really. I know how that would have gone if it was just me. Sure, dude. You did all right, Colin. You should pack up and head to Fort Atlas when you're ready. I will. Thanks again for keeping me alive, as well as giving me this chance. I'll Jasper, make sure you nice. and the rest of the Brotherhood don't regret it. Be safe out there. Oh, cool. Great. The other brother would have been the better choice. That's eh, fine. I like this guy. Is this live? No. I am a recording. Beep boop. Beep boop boop. Okay. Now we go to... Oh! We don't go back. Let's go back and talk to these guys. See if they have any new things to say. By the way, code 38 ammo isn't asked to make. I only get 48 bullets per craft, and that's with all the perks. Damn, dude! Thank you, Pala. Code is an interactive hologram. I'm a very interactive hologram. Yeah. <clears throat> I love the new helmet. Did you try it? Oh, this guy? Yeah, it's really nice, but the problem is um, it's too good. And the reason being is because uh, there's like actually a spot on each side for my glasses. And... On all the other helmets that I have, there's padding all around the side of the helmet. So when I put my glasses on, the padding holds it in place. But on this helmet, there's like a gap right where your glasses go in. So if my glasses fit me properly, it'd be amazing. But the problem is, is my glasses don't fit me properly. So I have to use this thing. And I have not yet found a way to get my helmet on and have my glasses actually stay on properly. So I'm, I'm going to get new glasses, basically, because these glasses suck. Um, and when I get my new glasses, I think it's going to be great, but it's going to be a little bit. I got my old man glass strap. That's right. That's exactly right. My boomer strap, as I like to call it. You got more questions? Or is luring one of my boys off to danger enough? 
Are you sure you're okay with Colin joining the Brotherhood? I'm not happy about it, but I can see he got his heart set on it. I gave my permission, and now I have to live with it. Get my baby boy hurt, though. Well, for your own safety, keep him safe. Nice. Just try not to startle us if you drop by again. George has a hair trigger with that shotgun. Have I considered LASIK? Yeah, thinking about it. Thinking about it. Have you ever had combat lenses? Or co combat lenses. Contact lenses. I have, yeah. Combat lenses. Mm -hmm. uh, Arone says, if I may ask, what made you come back to Fallout 76? Um, the update. They they do big updates now. The, the last time I came back was when we did the Wastelanders update, which I actually really enjoyed. And um, the new... Uh, the new update now. What's up, dude? This is Pala from our from our community. Uh, the new update now. They just added a bunch of stuff for the Brotherhood of Steel, which I'm I'm currently running through. I'm doing the Brotherhood of Steel quest right now, actually. Man, looking good. Well, what is this, Pala? Oh, thanks, Pala. Two hundred and four stim packs, bro. I don't even know if I can carry that much. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Pala. That's very nice of you. I, I Can I even fast travel with this? I don't think I can even fast travel with this, can I? Yeah. Yeah. Um. <laughs> Hello, I'm going to drop like 100 of these, bro. My lord, dude. If I drop half of them, can I fast travel? There we go. Okay, hold on. So I'll pick up... Uh, let's see. Well, not that many. Okay, well. I'll try dropping like 50. Hold on. Nice. Oh, still too heavy. How much are they? One per? Oh, okay. Um, so 19. We'll do 20. You know what? Sure. Fine. There we go. Thank you, Pala. Mm -hmm. Over here first. Drop off a bunch of these. Is Fault 76 canon for the lore? Yes. Mm-hmm. Thank you, number one schmuck. I am great right now, but thank you. Thank you. Really, Tuesday? No. Okay. Uh, let's drop these off here. There we go. Great. Okay. You say 76 has come a long way since launch? Yes. Mm-hmm. It has. Oh, Fort Atlas is free to travel to as well? Nice. Nice. Are you running Vault 76 with an FPS cap? I don't think so. Where do I see that? Everything makes sense now. This is my place. My mission. Hmm. Just like the old army, huh? Join up. Defend yourself. Hey, buddy. See the world. You said it's come a long way since launch, but has it come a long way since lunch? Wait, what? Nanny? You have to edit the any file? Oh, I don't know then. I don't know. You said you have issues with your glasses and the new helmet. What about your facial hair? No, not at all. No. Where's my girl? Cut ourselves free from America to rebuild America. Take the old and forge it anew. Up here? Up here. Throwing nukes left and right. Do the people of Appalachia think a bomb is a play Hi. thing? Welcome back. Have you completed your assigned mission, candidate? I wiped out the nest. I also found someone else who wanted to sign up. Ah, oh, that 
explains young Colin Putnam arriving at our doorstep then. Bright kid. I can't say Shin thought much of him, but if he makes it through basic training, I think you found us another scribe. That'll make Valdez happy. I'm very pleased with your initiative. Excellent job. Thanks, BOS Mom. Not only have you achieved everything we set out for you, but you have expanded our order and helped to secure its future in Appalachia. I hereby confer on you the status of probationary initiate in the Brotherhood of Steel. Thanks. I'm sorry, but we'll have to put the official initiation right on hold. Something's come up, and we need to deal with it right away. If you've got anything else you need to take care of, make it quick. Report to me again when you're ready. Ad Victorium, Initiate. Ad Victorium. I want to see my loot first. Mind over ma- Oh. Oh. Well. I trust you're adjusting to service with the Brotherhood. Mm -mm -mm. Help the retreat. Nani. Hello, Initiate. Congratulations on officially joining our ranks. I apologize that we aren't able to do an official ceremony right now, but as previously stated, something more important has come up. I've been informed that there is an independent settlement that needs our help. <gasps> a settlement that needs our help? Raiders are extorting the villagers and taking their supplies. The village's leader, Jenny Brown, has more information. It's like a triggering thing for me. Their settlement, a camp made up of tree houses that they call the retreat. I need to remind Scribe Valdez to retune my power armor. Understood. I trust that you will represent the Brotherhood admirably on your first mission, Initiate. Right, Murgle? Here we go again. Protect and preserve. <sighs> Never he randomly looks off to space and is like, I kind of hope one day to have a great great grandson named Preston. Hmm. You can only hope. The retreat is in the northeast, I think. Oh, well, it kind of is, but we're not near it. Uh, let's go to. I uh, OMF Revenger. I got fiber internet. Yep. Bye bye intraneta. And it is. <gasps> Glorious. Glorious. Did they ever really explain how NPCs just started showing up? Oh yeah, yeah. There's a, the, the, there's whole quest lines for the Wastelander stuff. Mm-hmm. Hey, Kato Morex. Thanks, buddy. Hey, cool. Hi. Wait, people live here now? Oh, this place, I think this place was empty last time I was here. Don't get any funny ideas. Whew. Scores to the ferals don't get you. How did you learn to yeah, jump like that? Oh boy, this Great. could be problematic for village security. Wait, is he, did he just comment on my marsupial mutation? That's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. This misty, foggy crap. <laughs> Never thought I'd live in a tree house. Wow. Never thought I'd find a real family. Oh, wow. That's right. Oh, wow. Gotta keep your eyes peeled in this weather. Yeah, if those raiders come slacking around, they're gonna regret ah, it. Here we go. Hey, Jenny Brown. Hello there, stranger. What can I do for you? You can look at me when I'm talking to you. Nothing, never mind. Well, all right then. Let me know if you do end up needing anything. 
Looks Hi. like a red Hello storm there, again. stranger. What's much better? What can I do for you? I'm here on behalf of the Brotherhood. Well, aren't you just the cutest Brotherhood member I've ever seen? Aww! My name is Jenny Brown, and I'm the mama hen of this little family here at the retreat. Lately, my Miss kin Jenny have been Brown's harassed by a woman Nothing named Dagger and her Blood Eagle Raiders. She's causing all my people to go hungry and threatening our lives. You should take some time to talk with some of my people. I'm sure they have some useful information about Dagger that they can share with you, you know. I'm getting so sick and tired of those thorn bushes. Make friends, but I don't want to! Right. Let me know if you need anything Hey, Arcade Bulls. Good to see you, bud. She is the Mountain Mama. I like it. If those raiders come snooping around, they're going to regret it. Uh, hey there. Sorry, we're a bit wary of strangers right now. What's that over there? Oh, hi, left bro. I'm here about Dagger. What do you know about her? I know she's got numbers and she's smart. She's got people tracking our trade routes and they've been harassing our caravans. It's making the settlers not want to trade with us for fear of losing their own people. I don't blame them either. Dagger's people are making it harder and harder for us to have supplies when she comes to collect. Honestly, I think she just wants an excuse to kill us off. Mm. How'd you end up here in the retreat? Uh, Miss Jeannie heard about all the people in Appalachia and thought it would be a good spot for some consistent trading opportunities. We came across all these abandoned tree houses and it seemed like the perfect place to set up our little haven. It allows us to keep our independence while still making it easy to trade with the settlers. Mostly. Fair. I believe in you to give that dagger what she deserves. Oh, we will. Miss Jenny brought us all together. Nothing will take us apart. It's just about time to eat. I won't let anyone mess with this village. Watch the edges up here. Hello. Don't cause any trouble around here. I will be able to find you. Oh, oh okay. Uh, do you have any useful information about Dagger? I went out hunting shortly after one of her weekly collections and tracked her lieutenants to see where her hideout is. I lost their trail and wasn't able to get the exact location. But I do know they're somewhere to the southwest. If you find her, kill her. Her and her damn blood eagles are taking our food, water, stim packs, everything. All in exchange for allowing us to keep our lives. Mm. What do you like about living here? Being high up in these trees makes me feel safe. Plus, everyone looks out for each other here. And we do what we can to make the best of it. If you could just help get rid of Dagger, we can go back to living in peace. Hmm. How do you meet Jenny Brown? My partner and I were holed up in a building when we heard some people come inside and start looking through the place. We were worried we would have to fight, but instead, Miss Jenny welcomed us into her group with open arms and offered us a place in the family. Please help us give that dagger what she deserves. Hey, Jedweiser. Hey, gotta keep your eyes peeled in this weather. Great. Now it's gonna be pouring down rain. Whoa, did you jump up here? Ah, uh, forgive any attitudes from us. We've got people hungry here. Uh, what can you tell me about dagger? Look, I run the storehouse here. And I have to deal with her lieutenants that come to collect every week. Yeah, they, they, they have some sort of fancy rocket launcher that would blow this place to smithereens if given the opportunity. Oh. Her and those Blood Eagle Raiders are definitely too tough for us to handle on our own. Something's got to be done about her. And I hope you're the one to do it. What made you want to live in tree houses? Are you kidding me? It's got to be the coolest home, digs maybe. you can get in the apocalypse. I'm proud to call this place my home, and these people my family. Why'd you join Jenny Brown? I was surrounded by a group of vicious mole rats when some members of Miss Jenny's family found me. They saved me. I figured I could use some more protections from all the nastiness of the world. Now we just need to deal with Dagger. Okay. You go get that Dagger and bring me back my Instamash. 
Please. Please. Seems like it's always cloudy. Oh, I like auto unlock. It, That's is good. Is it true that strangler vines can grow out at night and wrap around you while you're sleeping? <clears throat> you know, I, I should ask Miss Jenny. Huh. That's a little horrifying. Real muddy. 